Yeah, so AI obviously is important and uh, it plays a, a role of a catalyst. It's one of the key drivers in any digital transformation in uh, most of the industries these days. You know, it allows businesses uh, to automate repeated type of uh, processes. It uh, helps streamline operations, you know, thus um, increasing efficiency, productivity and also helps us uh, or helps the businesses with enhanced decision making right with the use of uh, machine learning or natural process languages and uh, computer vision etc so ai obviously is very important these days there are challenges you know i mean uh, uh, ai for example um, the overall understanding you know uh, in the general population about ai uh, is limited there are there are myths around ai you know which uh, which at times uh, uh, don't really help the cause. For AI project, for those complex algorithms to work, you know, high compute requirement is a must and which then increases the cost, which also then, uh, you know, uh, challenges the overall energy efficient infrastructure. We'll have to invest on um, high computing uh, 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 servers, you know, especially GPUs and TPUs. Uh, to be able to uh, process those complex algorithms and then the huge volume of data which has to process. So, uh, that's one. Uh, second is AI also, uh, uh, you know, uh, forms bias or uh, discrimination, right? Depending on the, uh, depending on uh, data which is an input to those uh, uh, AI programs. So, if the data is biased and it can be, it can be uh, because of the, uh, uh, design of algorithm itself or because of uh, biased data as inputs the outcomes can be harmful and that's that's one area of concern as far as ai is concerned uh, data privacy data security and uh, violation of privacy again are you know key concern areas when it comes to ai and uh, there have to be you know regulations and uh, governance frameworks around uh, uh, the overall uh, uh, ai disposition right to be able to address this um, what else can can I think of um, uh, in terms of challenges? Uh, business case, you know, the the classic example for uh, CIOs like us is to be able to arrive at a uh, logical business case relevant to our business, you know, and then make sense uh, out of this. The overall implementation of AI is also a challenge. Though we have an identified business case, you know, when it comes to implementation, AI first will have to be. I mean, the implementation will involve integrations with the current systems. It will, it will necessitate, uh, you know, algorithms to run on data and for that the data has to be clean. So, first of all, you know, the prerequisites needed for AI are not in place at times. And hence, uh, uh, it's, it's very important, you know, when we go for an implementation, the other aspects, if they are not ready, I mean, AI will definitely not give the desired results. Uh, so, these are some of the uh, upfront challenges, you know, that come to my mind. There are uh, use cases on AI, you know, uh, relevant to our industry and uh, being explored. Uh, there are a few POCs which are already doing, right. Uh, say, for example, in supply chain optimization, uh, the whole uh, demand generation, you know, is based on various data sets, right, historic data uh, from sales or the current inventory levels, uh, market trends. Now, these are data points uh, based on which, you know, the uh, AI algorithms will have to be run for us to be able to give a, uh, a reasonable demand, right. So, that's one use case and it also then considers other constraints like seasonality. Seasonality in our business is very, very important, right. And all of that, you know, uh, uh, is, is very, uh, very good in terms of creating a strong demand and the right demand. The other use case that I can think or you know we are using uh, is uh, we are using a solution uh, which again has embedded AI uh, algorithms to be able in the transportation management route where the route optimization you know uh, uh, is derived based on these algorithms and so the overall transportation cost you know gets reduced and overall efficiency uh, in the overall supply chain uh, by uh, by optimizing these routes is achieved. HR also can have several uh, use cases right from, you know, recruitment, resume, shortlisting till the evaluation process can be, you know, uh, um, effectively achieved by the use of AI. Uh, on the manufacturing floors, uh, there are cobots, you know, collaborative robots as we call them. They work alongside with human workers, right, to be able to do the deadlifting, to be able to do the repetitive tasks. 
uh, even on finance, you know, finance uh, processes like uh, APs or uh, accounts receivables, you know, these are processes under the finance share services which can be, you know, uh, automated using RPAs and again, uh, uh, you know, uh, AI can play a big role there. And uh, uh, again on our IT systems, uh, the overall incident management piece uh, where users have to, you know, log in uh, tickets and reach out to the IT engineers for support. AI can play an uh, uh, excellent role uh, based on you know various uh, ticket histories that we have. The repeated type of and nature of tickets can be automated using bots so that you know the users then will not have to depend on the IT engineers and the bot then and there can provide a ready solution. So there are numerous use cases in, in AI uh, as far as our industry is concerned. The yeah, experience has been very very good and uh, there have been very insightful sessions. Um, we also got to uh, interact with some of our peers, uh, some of the industry leaders and uh, the fun sessions were amazing and uh, this is an excellent opportunity and we always, all of us look forward to the ATCIO event uh, every year. Thank you so much for hosting us.